Okay, okay. I have a good one. I have a good one. So about eight and a half years ago, I was at work and I had just moved to Oklahoma from Texas and I had like literally nothing. I'd only been living with Matt and his family for like a couple of weeks. My life was a mess and I was at work and this, I worked at a gas station as a cashier and this guy came in and he was like, Hey, do you know anywhere that I could drop off a tree? I have like a tree to donate. It's pre-lit and everything. Um, it mostly works. I just, wife got a new one. I was like, yeah, I know the perfect place. Drop it off at my house. Just leave it outside and I'll take care of it when I get home if you really are trying to get rid of this tree. And I lived really close to where the gas station was. So he's like, okay, cool. So I get home from work, i.e. we're living at Matt's parents' house. I get there and the tree was there, which is perfect because the reason Matt's parents didn't have a tree was the year before they got drunk on New Year's Eve and I think they lit the tree on fire. They had like a fake tree. They just bonfire woo woo okay so they had no tree um perfect we got a tree now we use that tree we put it up put lights decorate it take it down store it and uh they had plenty of storage space i guess they matt and his dad had a spot that they put the tree now just a couple months later me and matt and the kids moved into an apartment and matt asked his dad if he would go ahead and store the tree for us because we just didn't have room. Well, Christmas rolled around and our apartment was really small. So we asked if they could just go ahead and hold onto the tree that Christmas. Um, we were just going to use a really small tree. And then when we moved out of the apartment the following summer, we would then take the tree because we'd finally be able to store it and use it. Great. That's the story, right? So... When that next year came around and we moved out of the apartment and into the rent house like we said we were going to do and Christmas was around the corner and it was time to put up the tree, Matt calls his dad and asks him, hey, um, can I come pick up that Christmas tree you've been storing for me? And his dad was like, what are you talking about? We all did a big swap. And that's like, what are you talking about? Basically, Matt's mom gave our Christmas tree to his brother Kevin, who she like does everything for it. it's ridiculous she does everything for kevin and he ain't even on his sh anyway he, that's a whole other can of worms so she gave our tree to kevin okay and in exchange kevin gave her like a tiny tiny tree that would go in like an office space okay that could like go on somebody's desk and yeah so whatever i said f that i don't even care i'm gonna go buy a tree bought a tree and moved on so tell me why eight years later did this freaking woman say to me last Christmas at our family get together that if you look at old videos of me super pregnant, I didn't even want to go to. She was like, everything was going fine. We're having as good of a time as I can have around her. And she says, do you remember when we all swapped trees? And I, I had to call her out on that one. I was like, you mean when you said you would store my tree for me and then you gave it to Kevin? And she's like, no, that's not what happened. We all tradesies. We all did a tradesie. No, bitch. What did I get in the trade? Um, as I recall, I got nothing. I got to go buy a brand new pre-lit tree and she ended up with that tiny tabletop tree and Kevin ended up with my tree. So what are we talking about here? And here's what's like the most irritating is eight years ago when Matt found out that his mom traded trees, his tree with his brother, he called her and he asked her about it. Like, yo, what's up with this? She was mad at him for even questioning her about it. Like she was put out and she literally tried to rationalize to us why it made sense for her to give the tree to Kevin without saying anything to us at all nothing she's like what was i supposed to do just store it for you forever like you didn't tell me that you wanted it back she just lies she lied she lied she said we didn't tell her that we wanted it back um she didn't know uh she wouldn't have given it away it's like really you knew it was ours you knew you were storing it for us until right this moment when we are calling to retrieve it like we said we would do when you originally agreed to store it for us Okay, she acted like we were crazy. Like, she didn't even call and say, hey, I've had this tree forever. Um, 
you know, would it be okay if I gave it to Kevin? No, she just gave it to him because that's her baby. And then like made us seem crazy. So that's why it irritates me that after all <coughs> that mess about the tree eight years ago, she then looks at me and says, remember when we all did tradesies at Christmas? <laughs> and when I responded to her and said, that's not what happened. You gave our tree away to Kevin. She was like, no, that's not what happened. She's still rocking that tiny cheap ass tree, y'all. <sighs> uh, I'll be back with more. This is actually like kind of cathartic. Like I feel better now.